In this lecture, we will program the start screen for our game. Up at the top of the code, let's import the Turtle module, giving us access to all of the computer graphics programming and the game development features that we need. Then we will import the Time module, which will allow us to pause code execution for a specified number of seconds. This will allow us to control the speed and timing of our in-game animations. Then we will have a global variable named isStart, set to a value of true by default. This variable will let our game know when we are and are not in start mode, so it understands when to show and hide the start screen and start button. We also want to create a variable named start button, set equal to a turtle object. Let's also create a variable named start screen, and also set it to a turtle object. Time to set up the screen window for our game. We will create a variable named screen, set equal to turtle.screen. Then we will call screen.setup and pass in 960 as the first argument and 540 as the second argument. This will give our screen a width of 960 and a height of 540. Next, we need to use the add shape function to load in the images we need for the start screen. Two quick notes about this. Any images you want to use need to be GIFs and also any images you want to use need to be added to the Python program using add shape like we are about to do. Oh. And don't forget that you need to download the course resource folder attached to this lecture, which has all of the images you will need to make the game. We also want to be sure that our Python file is saved into this same folder, so that it recognizes all of the images that we are referencing. If you have any questions about this, or run into any issues at all, please feel free to post your issue to the course Q&A forum or message me on Udemy, and I'll help you resolve the issue. We will call screen.addShape and import the start screen frame 1, through four GIF images, as well as the start button one and start button two GIF images. After that, we will define a function named load start screen. Inside of this function will be a for loop for I in range three. Inside of the for loop, we will set the shape of the start screen to the start screen frame one GIF. Then we will call time.sleep and pass in 0.05. After that, we will load the start screen frame two GIF and then wait for another 0.05 seconds. Next, we will load the third frame for our start screen and then wait 0.05 seconds. Finally, we will load the fourth frame for the start screen. Then we will go back down from frames 3 to 1, waiting for 0.05 seconds each time. This sequence produces one of Darkseid's laugh sequences, and he will laugh three times, thanks to the for loop, so it looks like he is laughing ha ha ha. Then we will use a while loop that will execute while the value of is start is true. Inside of the while loop, we will call show start button, a function that we will write in a moment. Then we will define a show start button function, which will be responsible for displaying a start button and pulsating it on the screen. At the top of the function, we will use the global keyword to give us access to the global start button variable from the top of our program so that we can set its image inside of this function. Next, we need a for loop that will be for i in range 2 to create the pulse effect for the button. We will set the shape of the start button to start button onegif Then we will call time.sleep and pass in 0.5 to wait for half a second before we set the shape to the next image. Next, we will set the shape of the start button to start button 2. Then we will call time.sleep and pass in 0.1, which will make our code wait for one tenth of a second before resuming. To make the button pulsate, we're going to want to set the start button shape again back to start button onegif and then call time.sleep and pass in a value of 0.1. Then we'll set the start button shape to start button 2.gif, and then again call time.sleep passing in a value of 0.1. At the bottom of the code, we will call screen.listen, which will listen for keyboard and mouse input from the player. We will call the load start screen function to load and display the start screen for our game. Finally, we will call screen.main loop, which puts our game into the tkinter main loop. This allows the screen window to stay open during our game and is essentially the main update loop that we plug our game into. Let's run the code. We should see the start screen appear, dark side laugh three times, and then the start button appears and pulsates on the screen. Excellent work. This completes the start screen for our game. In the next lecture, we will create the animated intro for our game.